Hi everybody, Todd here, and today we are in Gastonia, North Carolina, at the Shield Museum. Wanted to bring you guys this place a long time, so we're going to go inside and explore. I love this museum, it's been a while since I've been here, and uh, they got all kinds of cool stuff. So let's go! Winter Wonderland, Spring Fling, all kinds of cool stuff coming up. So I like the dinosaur on the side there. Shield Museum, Museum of Natural History, and uh, it's right on Garrison Boulevard. 1500 Garrison Boulevard. Yeah, natural adventure. And I love their planetarium. That's pretty cool. Huge. And it is Sunday morning. They open at 10, so we are here. It's about 10.45. I'm guessing, I'm not sure, is that, a, that might be a huge solar panel. Let's take a look around here. So it looks like, yeah, solar panel right there. Providing some energy to the museum. I want to show you over here before we went inside. Some of their uh, nature area and also they have this old village right here. I want to show you this area before we went into the museum. Yeah, it's kind of a natural history of uh, North Carolina. A little village preserved. They do a lot of reenacting here, which is very cool. Here you go. A little sign tell you what to what. But uh, let's walk over here. I'm not sure if we can get in. They got all kinds of nature trails, all kinds of stuff. The trail for all seasons. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's open right now. It might be seasonal. Oh, these are cool. Cats Untamed now open. There's your little map right there of the area of outside. So yeah, if I'm going to take a quick peek over here, but they have, a, oh, I can smell the animals. So the animals are here. Oh, there they are. You can see them down here. It's $3 per person. Maybe they open at a certain time, but here are the goats down here. There they are walking around the little farm, but yeah, they do all kinds of uh, stuff here. It doesn't open until one. Okay. So I'm a little bit early, but here's the village back in here. It's really cool. I need to come back here when they do have uh the reenactors here but back here we'll walk up here real quick get memberships as well let me get a close-up in case you want to look into that let me get out of the way <laughs> so you can scan that hashtag right there there you go but um yeah this trail all back in here it's really nice but uh yeah the animals are out and about you can smell them <laughs> but uh he's looking over here at us the goats are all right, we're gonna go back inside and uh, see this wonderful museum. Really cool statue here of this Native American from this area. It's called Aspiration to Flight. That's really neat walking around here. Very cool. So you got an eagle there. It looks like a bald eagle from what I could tell. That's what it looks like, yeah. It's a beautiful statue, I love that. That's the first thing you see before you go inside aspiration to flight so yeah another family was here and we were looking at the times and the time said 10 to 4 on sundays and um so i went down one of the girls was at the little barn down here and uh asked her what time they open on sunday she said one o'clock so of course we're gonna still come come here and today and see the the museum but uh, we gotta make sure they get that fixed all right guys so just stay tuned real quick. Be right back. And we are back. It's 1 o'clock. We're inside. And as soon as you enter, check out this pterodactyl. Look at the size of that thing. Massive. He's got a little critter in his mouth. About to eat some lunch. Got little babies down here. So she's oh, she's about to feed them lunch. Oh, that's pretty cool. And uh, there's another name for the pterodactyl right over here. I'm not going to even attempt to uh, pronounce that. Right there. <laughs> So, but it's kind of cool on the wall here to have all the history of this particular prehistoric creature. And right now they have the Cats Untamed exhibit. Check him out, or her out. The lion there, we'll go inside here. And check out these beautiful creatures. There's the king right there. He's got himself a water buffalo. Very nice. I love the taxidermy here. They do amazing work. So cool. I think that is a female up there on the top. 
and there's the king right there. And actually, what's funny about that, most of the males don't do the hunting. The females do. So, then over here, you get a puma. Or even known as a panther or mountain lion right there. And here's the history of the puma. So, you know, check out these right here because you'll, you'll have the whole history about the animal and where they, uh, their habitats are mainly. So, yeah, she's beautiful. You have the videos playing as well. Check this guy out right here. It's a Canadian lynx. Yeah, he's beautiful. Nice. Kind of trying to hit everything. There's a bobcat right here. And then over here, get the jaguars. There you are right here. Just love, love seeing these big cats. Yeah, like, there we go, better shot. And the baby's over here. Might, well, it might not be a baby. That might be a different uh, cat altogether. Let me see. No, it is, yep, here it is. I believe, I believe it's pronounced Ocelot, I believe they are. So no, that isn't a baby, that's an Ocelot. A lot of the history of the cats here. Oh, look at him. Look at this guy. It's a Bengal tiger from India. Look at him. He's huge. Going through the the bamboo, tracking its prey. Cool. Kind of gives you a, a lot of uh, their habit, you know, their habitats and how they hunt, and how they take care of their families. It's really cool. Uh, domesticated cats here. Because, yeah, one of my cats used to do that all the time. <laughs> Sleeping in the laundry. Got some of the skeletons here. Oh, I love this. You got a video playing, too, that you can watch about the cats. Why they meow. That's cool. Got some skulls. Look at the saber tooth right here. Nice. And there's a modern lion and the saber tooth here. And they do have a saber tooth right behind me. I'll show you him. It's different skulls. Different footprints of the tigers and lions and all the different cats. But look at him. So beautiful. Saber tooth. Don't mess with the saber tooth. Look at the size of those fangs. Yeah, it's beautiful. You got some more skulls here of the different uh, felines. Tiger and a tiger. There's a lion. Got the cheetah. Asian jungle cat. Fishing cat. There's your house cat right there. And that is what is known as a caracal. Right there. Love the ears. There's the history right here of the caracal. Nice. This beautiful leopard here. He's the last cat you'll see on the way out of the exhibit. And we're going to head down the hallway and see some more cool stuff. This museum is amazing. There are all kinds of cool classes here that you can take to. And here's one of the theaters. Look at the taxidermy. So, yeah, here's one of the take the class here and learn about the animals but check out the taxidermy on the wall the moose the elks very nice all along here and the caribou got a lot of fishes down there as well get some more over here on this wall check it out beautiful timber wolf wow pretty incredible right there so we're going to enter the dino safari Wow, this is amazing. And that's actually a mold from a real uh, Triceratops horn. Look at that. And here he is here, my favorite dinosaur in the entire world with a Triceratops. And here he is. Look at this. Look how huge he is. Just massive. Get a little shot around here. Yeah, I love this. This is great. He's beautiful. He's a big boy. Yeah. I love him. And then over here, got the Spinosaurus right here. Yeah, he's beautiful. Look at him. Got some serious teeth right there. I don't want to find him somewhere in a forest or the jungle. You forget that. But he's so cool looking. This one says a Colophilus. Or... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, again, here we go. Here he is up here, right there. He's about human size. Ankylosaurus, and I believe that's him. Right there, there he is. I love those with that shell. Ankylosaurus, 
But there's your raptor right there. Better known as, I'm not going to try to pronounce his scientific name. And look at him. That's a parasaur. Sorolophus. Parasolophus? Yeah, I think they are, these guys are probably vegetarian. Cause I don't see any like, weird fangs and teeth on them. So he's beautiful too. Yeah, I think a lot of these guys were, most dinosaurs, from what I believe, were vegetarian. Uh, they weren't carnivores. And again, you're going to have all the history. Look at this little guy. And uh, again, some of these, I, I, I'm just not going to even try to pronounce. <laughs> so, short name, Raptor. <laughs> These are dinosaurs that were in North Carolina at one time. I'll check that out. Some bones here. The Allosaurus, arm and hand. Check them out. So these guys populated all of North Carolina at one time and back up. There you go. Oh, look at him. Stegosaurus right here. Wow. Little baby. Little baby Stegosaurus right here but they populated uh, North Carolina the Allosaurus right here looks like he been in a fight both of them maybe their siblings get pissed off at each other I don't know <laughs> so, we'll look over here these are a video plan I guess not it's more down this way this is so cool last time I was here it's been years ago since I was last here so this definitely was not here look at these guys pterodactyl up there Oh, look at these guys. Oh, look at him. Brachiosaurus. Look how big he is. He's way up there. We get a better shot from around here. Now, this is a scaled down version of him, of course, because uh, here's actually one of his bones. Part of his leg bone. Right here. Look how massive that is. That's like seven feet tall. Just that alone. And this little guy right here. He's a, a Hippocil Fodon. Fodon? Here we go. <laughs> so if you want to pronounce that, please do. But he was a herbivore. So, but yeah. So cool to see them. Look at this guy. Wow. And the theater's right here. We'll walk in there real quick. Of course, we can't stay for the whole show. because I can't tape that, of course. And look at the egg right here with the dinosaur in it. Cool. So part of a vertebrae of a dinosaur right here. Uh, this is a theater, the real Jaws. I'm going here, I'll kind of show you. <laughs> E.T. Extreme Jurassic. Nice. Uh, take a booth here. Oh, let me turn around so you can see it. Oh, cool. So you sit here and watch all about the dinosaurs. Oh, very cool. This is so neat. What oh, that is. <laughs> Not sure what that what that's supposed to mean. So uh, I think it's supposed to, this is supposed to be like a time machine theater. I think so. Pretty cool. But this is neat right here. Check out the, the deer running through the uh, forest in the snow. That's pretty cool. And, and here's this winter wonderland right here. Let's go check that out. See the snow going here. It's pretty cool. You take your socks off and you can uh, pretend like you're ice skating. That's pretty cool. And they got a cool little exhibit here called Minerals of the World. This is neat. It's all along here. You get all kinds of different minerals and everything that you can find. And uh, all across the part of the world. So there's more down here as well. Take your time, read each one. And check that. It's a petrified sycamore tree right here. Looks like a bone, doesn't it? And, but that's pretty neat 200 million years old that is crazy and I mean it's like you might as well you can easily be mistaken that for a stone now we're heading down this way to see the more modern animals of uh, the area North America and South America yeah we'll check those out and we got these neat little exhibits here it tells you about the different plant life in the area as well ones that are poisonous Pretty much right here <laughs> so uh, yeah different ivy and vines and uh, I'm highly allergic to poison ivy and here you go here's a little uh, turtle right here he's going crazy look at him he's swimming and swimming probably got his food earlier he's happy 
Happy turtle. <laughs> He's having a good time. Just swimming around in his little habitat there. And they'll have the, the signs up here kind of telling you when you see the exhibits and what's in there, what type of fish. I'm sure we're going to have their snakes. And we'll temporarily off of display. So he's not there right now. Okay, we're going to head down these steps. And look at this beautiful bald eagle right here. That's great. You got all the birds in here and the ducks. Birds of prey. There's our, there's, uh, our state bird, Cardinal, North Carolina. Right there. Yeah, look at all these guys. You know, the turkey, different mallards. You got the uh, swans and the geeses. You got the pelican back there in the back. You got the pheasant back there in the back. You check out the great horned owl right here. Black vulture. I see a lot of those in the area for sure. Let's head over here. I mean, it's beautiful displays. Oh, look at the turtles. Snapping turtles right here. Nice. There's bobcats and there's a fox, gray fox right here. Mr. Bobcat. Also a link. No, it's a lynx. You also gonna have the vegetation. A display what tells you what the turkey spears, what those are known as. And you got a snake over there, timber rattlesnake right there. Oh look at him. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at the different birds here. Get the fox. Nice. You spend the day here, that's for sure. Look at all these uh, wonderful animals. Some moose, Arctic fox, right there. The, got the beaver over here. Some more different birds. Look at him. Here's a red wolf. Look at him. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, look at these guys right here. Oh, he's on the hunt right there. Gray wolf, timber wolf right here. Look at that, this uh, mountain goat. Get a better shot. Look at him. Trying to stay away from him. <laughs> yeah, he's looking at, looking at him like a ear dinner. That is actually the founder. It's Rudolph Bud Scheel right here. When he found the museum. But here he is. That's pretty neat. There he is in his office. Got the Roadrunner back there in the back, the Armadillo. But look at this guy right here, Golden Eagle. Nice. And there's a rough legged hawk flying by. Try to see his face. There he is. And then you got the another immature Golden Eagle. And look at that white tail, Jackrabbit. He's huge. And there's a grouse right there. And look at the size of that Tyrannosaurus Rex skull. Wow, that's, that's impressive right there, it's huge. beautiful boy right here polar bear get some of the arctic creatures here with him as well in his exhibit yeah he is beautiful you back up a little bit so you can get a better shot there he is then all the bears are along here there's a grizzly right there old grizzly bear and he's got a uh, raven flying right over his head got a squirrel right there so he's got some other life in his area walking around he's beautiful and here you go. This is known for our area as the black bear and the brown bear. Look at these guys. I see a lot, I see, I've seen more of them probably in the mountains up near the Smokies. It's where you can see a lot of you know, the brown bear or the uh, black bears up in that area. But yeah, trying to hit everything. Got all kinds of cool exhibits here. Stuff beneath the earth. Look at all the different mushrooms. So cool. And they got some over here. They got some real they got, uh, live exhibits over here so these got little babies Looks like they have some babies in there with them yeah these are the uh bob white quail hey guys <laughs> nice little habitat for them nice and safe in there yeah that's nice let's just see what's next door the eastern screech owl oh there he is up there hey oh he's saying something 
There he is in the corner. <laughs> and over here, striped skunk. He's, I don't see him. He's probably in his little house back there in the back. I don't see him out. He's probably sleeping. Don't want to be bothered. Oh, I think I see the back of him way in that corner. But now he's he's uh, back in there. He's uh, just chilling out. And Mr. Possum, he's not showing his face because he's nocturnal, so he's in his little cave over there, chilling out. And uh, right now, Animal is temporarily off duty, so he's not here, and it's usually American Alligator. And he's not there right now. And over here, get some turtles. Get the box turtle, the freshwater turtle. There they are over there. And then over here, oh, check him out. Alligator snapping turtle. He's got his mouth open. Oh, he's ready to bite your finger off. <laughs> yeah, he, look at that mouth. Yeah. There he is. Oh, he's looking at you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you don't want to step on that because that, that would be a bad day for you to step on him. There's a taxidermy of him right there. Smaller version because yeah, he's huge. Then right here is the Henry Hall of the American Indians. A lot of their culture from prehistoric to now. Very cool. They did a great job all through this museum. And you can stop at each one and read the history. I'm going to check the spear out, honey spear. Ice Age Hunters right here, what they used. Got that cool little dagger here. And the spear to hunt, like the woolly mammoth and stuff like that, and bear. Oh, it's so cool. Got some real artifacts, too. Check this out. Nice. I love these statues here. Those are great. Hoopy Homeland. Kind of how they lived in different parts of the country at one time. Clay structures. Oh, here's Geronimo. Lived from 1829 to 1909. That's a great replica of him, too. Love that. Learn the history about different tribes like the Navajo and the Apache. Some of their artifacts. These are so neat. They did a great job. Little moccasins right here. And they have that, the shirt. So cool. This is a great exhibit. I love this. Plains Indians here. You definitely have to take your time and stop and read all the wonderful history of the Native Americans. Wow. This is great. This is neat right here. It's like a sweat lodge, I think. It says, a, what says pot lights here, but this could be a sweat hall. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, check him out. Oh, this looks great. Yeah. Wow. Oh, isn't he here? A little model of the village. Here's North American tribes here. They do have a map of all the different tribes in the area. Like in our area, you get the Cherokee, Catawba, Lumbee, and the uh, Tuscarossus, the Shawnee here. Creeks down in Georgia. <laughs> and the Seminoles, of course, are well known in Florida. Oh, it's so neat. Oh, this is great. Now they have the boat up here, too. Oh, look at him. Shawnee Warrior right there. History of Pocahontas right there. And check out the canoe. And check out the bison here, the buffalo. Or Tatanka. Oh, those are beautiful. Look at them. This is a great museum, folks. If you ever have a chance, definitely come here. We're going to go outside and also see the village. But these exhibits are amazing. Check them out. Yeah, they do a great job here. Coyotes. Yep, coyotes are here in North Carolina now. You would never have thought they would have been, but they're here. These are great. Look at the sound effects playing too. Oh, looks like he called himself a snake. Look at him. Yeah. You got some dinner. 
Nice. It's a beautiful day outside too. All the different snakes. Yeah, Everglades. Okay, cool. Over here, more Everglades. All the different birds in that region. Look at the alligator down there. He's cool looking. Hear it? You can hear the sound effects. That's awesome. That clamshell. Seems huge. And then here. You can touch them too. See how they feel? It's a big boy. Yeah. That's beautiful. Great, great taxidermy right there. Yeah, again, just come here and experience this. It's part of the Arctic tundra right there. Got the reindeer. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, death perception to make it look like it goes way back in the valley. That's so cool. And check out this Arctic Island caribou. He's beautiful. So, I, I, I've been, I haven't been here a long time, so this is all new to me back in here. So, it's more exhibit, exhibit halls down here. They do have this right now. The Hall of uh, Natural History right now is closed due to construction. So, we'll come back and see that eventually. These are beautiful marble bear statues by sculptor Lee Hansel. Look at these guys. Those are really nice. Oh, check out that raccoon. He's pretty cool looking. But um, I said more exhibit halls, but we were just down here. So it's, it's another way to get down here to the North American uh, wildlife area where we were just at. So it's a big circle we went into. So I paid the extra $3 to do the outside activity. So let's go and check that out too. So the farm is now open. I'm going to go inside and uh, see what animals they have. But also to check out the little um, village they also have back in here. So like I said, they do have reenactments here once in a while actors dressed up in their uh, garb so you can experience the life back in the day this is great look at this here's some old farm equipment right here some of those are actually still used today they still use them check the old log cabin here this is cool you got the old stone steps you go up and go inside oh this is cool how they did it so yeah it's kind of blocked off it's protected but they'll probably take them down when they have events. And over here, that fireplace. Get nice and cozy in here. And these walls, yeah, they're like three inches thick. So they're going to keep it pretty insulated with the clay and the stone. And then, yeah, that's nice. A little area to eat right here. They have upstairs where they sleep and all the good stuff. But I would probably stay down here <laughs> near the fireplace. Keep warm during the winter time, that's for sure. And this other side is attached over here is the kitchen. So yeah, you always want to have that kitchen separate. You never know. You want, don't want to get a fire going on. Set on fire when you're cooking. There's the old iron skillets over here. I love this. This is great. There's the with all the cooking implements. Another fireplace where they do all their cooking. It's a lot deeper too. So the pans and stuff can go back in there. Got some of the herbs hanging up. Yeah, I see the herbs right here. So, good size kitchen all along here. Got a little loft up there too. And this is called the Heritage Garden right here. It's where they got all the herbs and everything in this garden. We got cabbage over there, different other foods, probably tomatoes, things like that. They also have a bee farm. Check it out, all the bees. Nice. Gotta take care of our bees, that's for sure, because they take care of us. Never meet, mess with these hives. That's called life right there. Look at them right here. Let's see if I need a close up. There they are. There they go. And check out the turkeys. There they are. Hey. <laughs> Cattle down here too. They're over there eating. It's a little barn where they live. Let's see if I can go around and get a better shot. I don't think so, but we'll try. But they have classes here too. We can learn about the farming and how they live back in the day. See right here, you can sit down and enjoy the, uh, the class. Got uh, more educational stuff here on the wall. 
We got some bunnies down here. Hey, babies. Hey, bunnies. Domestic rabbits right here. Hey, guys. <laughs> nice little habitat. Get the toys too. But here are the cattle over here. They're eating right now. Yeah, there they are. Here they go. They're beautiful. Got their little thick coats on right now. Got a shot of these pot belly piggy right here. Just chilling out in the sun. Staying warm. Yeah, it feels really good out here today. Very cute. A little better shot of them here. <laughs> And this is a real crib. Yeah, it's called a crib. <laughs> it is. There you go, right here. Corn crib it was essential for keeping the corn dry and protecting it from the rats, squirrels, and raccoons. Corn was the most important pioneer food. Still is pretty important. Yeah. You can check out, get the chickies over here in their hen house. Right over here. Hey, guys. Hey, babies. You got a nice little hen house here. Hey. There you go. Hey guys, I don't want to get on camera. <laughs> hey, get you two. And there he is up there in the coming down. You guys are beautiful chickens. Yes, you are. So, another little educational stage right here about the tools they used to implement on the farm. Yeah, you get a lot of education of this area and check out the Texas. Longhorn right there. That steer. Yeah. This is Longhorn. What's the difference between a steer and a Longhorn? Are they the same? Or are they different? Let me know. But um, regardless. He's got Longhorns. There's a little sign about him right there. Texas Longhorn. Some of the cattle. And all back there behind the farm is nature trails. All back in there. So you can walk around. And you'll see some wildlife. Not just squirrels. Sometimes you can see the owls, things like that, flying around. And then over here, these guys are chilling out. Hey, guys. <laughs> you staying out of the sun over there. And uh, a nice little area. And they're over there chilling out, too. It looks like they have some food growing over here. Got the cherries growing. Got the plum. Those will be coming up out of the ground soon. You can see the little trees right there coming out. Here we go. It's over here. Mr. Lizard, check him out. <laughs> hey, Mr. Lizard, go ahead and see him up on him. There he is, right there. Mr. Lizard. Well, I hope you enjoyed our visit here at the Shield Museum. It's been here since 1961, so it's been here a long time. A lot of schools go through here every year, and uh, it's a great educational experience. Also, great to bring your family here on the weekends, Saturday and Sundays. And just remember, they open from one to four. On Sunday so yeah they'll have to correct the time on that because there were a couple families here when I got here at 10 so so I'll let them know make sure you fix that so people don't appear on your doorstep at 10 a.m. all right guys thanks for joining me this is a lot of fun hope you enjoyed the taxidermy the animals the history that was really cool and the dinosaurs were awesome all right guys you take care we'll see you soon bye bye